Yeah, I think today the game just sort of – it was a bit of a stalemate the whole entire game. I think that there were definitely opportunities that we could have gotten a goal. Um, but you know what? There are mistakes in the back as well. And so it's one of those performances that we have to evaluate and look back on and say, you know what? There's probably ways that we could have gotten three points out of this game and potentially should have been better as a whole. But it was – it was a solid game, good to remain unbeaten at home. It's always a pro, but we can be better than this. Thank you. Uh, we'll open now the floor for questions. Uh, Claudio. Uh, Jack, how different is for you? Uh, because we've been asked to play a different way. With the, it depends on how you Zimmerman is there, if it's Lovitz, if it's uh, Miller. How different is it for you to adapt to every game when, when, when there's so many changes in, uh, in the back line? Yeah, it's pretty different playing with a Walker in comparison to some of the other guys that we have. Walker is unbelievable and one of the best center backs for our country and is just fantastic for us. But you know what, I think a lot of it goes into the guys that we have in the locker room. These guys are are really hard working, honest, um, and just willing to get the job done. And so I think the communication from the coaching staff is been really, really good, and it seems for a seamless transition between playing with Eric, Dan, Dave, or Walker. I think that the coaching staff really does a really good job um, making it easy for me. Tim. Hey, Jack. Um, you, you mentioned being without Walker and Dave, and I know that um, obviously uh, you guys still held firm as a back, but this was the first time you guys were shut out at Geodis Park. What are you, what are you seeing from the back about especially when you see the chances that you guys create and they aren't quite able to finish them. How do you feel like you guys take that next step and, and convert uh, in subsequent games? Yeah, I think that a lot of people will look at the front three. Oh, they could be doing more. I, I totally disagree. I think that it starts from the back. How can we put them in really good spots where they can be successful? And so I think that it starts with Joe and then the back line really doing a really good job of giving them opportunities that they will be able to put the ball in the back of the net. And I see it every single day in practice, and so I'm so confident with the guys that we have that we can definitely score. One final question from Ben. Oh. Yeah, um, Gary, Gary talked a little bit about just how he thought the best, your best moments in attack came in transition, and obviously that's like a, a strength of a Pony and CJ. Uh, but he also talked about wanting to maybe do a little bit better creating just in possession. From, from your perspective, how do you guys just go about that? Yeah, I think that's 100% true. I think that a lot of that's on myself. Whenever we are in transition, I have to be the one to get our back three up higher. And so a lot of the times it is Hani and CJ kind of on an island. And don't get me wrong, they do unbelievable stuff on this island. But it allows for us, um, me being able to push us higher up would allow for us to have more sustained possession and it's stuff that I've been looking at in film and saying, you know what, I can do better because that will allow us to have higher su sustained possession higher up the field, and that's one area that I can definitely improve on.